And joining us now tonight to talk more about this is Dr. David Wall. He is a professor of infectious diseases with UNC Health. And Dr. Wall, thank you for coming on tonight. Thank you for having me. Well, first off, I want to get your reaction to the news today that this once again has the green light to resume here in the U.S. Yeah, it's what we expected. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine, as was reported by Allison Harris, is a safe vaccine. It's very effective and it's saved thousands of lives. So we're glad it's back. I really do agree with Dr. Walensky that the system's working in detecting any problem. And we found there was a rare event that is occurring with this vaccine. And I think measures are being taken to inform the public about that. And one of those measures now is a warning label explaining the risk. And Allison talked about the fact sheet. I have it right here. And on page three, it talks about these blood clots and how rare they are. We know they were in women, and we know all but two of them were in that 18 to 49 age group range. So do you think this warning is specific enough? And can you explain it to women who maybe aren't going to read this warning and want to get the vaccine? Right. I think the warning sheet is helpful. It's a fact sheet that tells about the vaccine. There's one for every single vaccine that's out there. But I do think that we have to do more. And I think the messaging that we're doing right now and that we'll do in our clinics is going to be important. C providers have to counsel their patients about the risks and benefits of the vaccine. Clearly, the benefits of the vaccine really do outweigh these very rare events. We're in the middle of a pandemic. Over 600,000 people have died. It's surging in different parts of the country. We need to get more people vaccinated as variants spread. So I think we've done the right thing. We paused, we investigated this. We know the magnitude of the problem. Women and men have to make decisions with their providers about what's the best vaccine for them, given their risks. And if someone is still concerned, we know vaccine hesitancy is out there. What would you say to them, whether it's this shot or the other two out there? What would be your advice? So I think it's really important to differentiate this from the other two vaccines, the Moderna and Pfizer vaccine. Many more people have gotten those two vaccines and there's been no signal at all of any problem. For the J&J &J vaccine, as was mentioned, there's benefits of this vaccine. A single shot, you don't have to return for a second shot. It's cold storage is a little bit more convenient. So there's people who really do want the J&J &J vaccine. And again, the vast, vast, vast majority of them will have no problem with this vaccine. If you're worried about it, you're a woman, you worry about clotting, I understand that. And again, you may decide the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine is for me. Again, Lots of different things have risks. Birth control pills have risks. They cause more clotting than what we're seeing with the J&J &J vaccine. People have to make decisions every day about what's right for them, given their risks and benefits. Dr. Wall, we appreciate your time. Thanks for weighing in on this big story today. Thank you.